I believe that these developed human resources served as a foundation to enhance innovative capabilities, ultimately driving the nation's development and growth. Sorry, it's so long speech. Uh, it'll be soon come to an end <laughs> in a few hours. <웃음> 네, 먼저 인사드리겠습니다. 오늘 이 소중한 자리 여러분과 함께하게 된 아나운서 켈리 박입니다. Uh, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, a very pleasant afternoon to you all. My name is Kelly Park, your MC for this meaningful occasion, and it is my great honor and great pleasure to be guiding you throughout today's proceedings. Now, first of all, on behalf of the organizing committee, thank you very much for sparing your very valuable time to be here with us today. And special thanks goes out to our online participants watching on NHI YouTube channel. Thank you very much for your participation. 네, 오늘 식스는 개회식과 기조 세션, 그리고 세부 세션 1, 2, 3이 순차적으로 진행되며 또각 세션 중간에 10분 정도의 휴식 시간이 진행될 예정입니다. 저희 휴식 기간 후에도 같은 자리에서 계속해서 진행될 예정이니까요. 여러분께서 끝까지 함께해 주셔서 보다 좋은 정보 교류 의장을 함께 만들어 주시길 바라겠습니다. Now for today's schedule, we'll be starting with the opening ceremony, followed by a plenary session with three breakout sessions namely sessions one, two, and three. Now there will be 10 minute breaks in between each session and please note that uh, all sessions will be proceeding in this conference throughout the same venue. 자 그럼 지금부터 국가 공무원 인재 개발원에서 주최하는 2023 글로벌 공공 HR 컨퍼런스 개회식을 시작하겠습니다. Hosted by the National Human Resources Development Institute, let us now begin the 2023 Global Public HR Conference. And now to officially begin today's event and to personally greet each and every one of you, it is my great honor to invite Kim Tae-hwan, President of the National Human Resources Development Institute for the opening remarks. Please welcome him with a big round of applause. Distinguished guests, who are here with us today and online participants from around the world. Welcome. I'm Kim Che Hwan, the president of the NHI, the National Human Resources Development Institute. First of all, thank you for being with us today at the Global Public HR Conference 2023, despite your busy schedules. In particular, I am grateful to the keynote speaker, moderators, and presenters who are global thought leaders in the field of HR. I also welcome the public officials from foreign countries who are studying in Korea. I'm also delighted to have my Korean colleagues from various ministries, agencies, and public institutions here at the NHI. Right now in Korea, the weather is just perfect, not too hot, not too cold. Everywhere you look, there are pretty red and yellow leaves. I bet when you visited the NHI today, you felt the beauty of this enchanting fall season. I'm so happy that we get to enjoy this beautiful time together. Ladies and gentlemen, we are living through a post-COVID world that is struck with multiple challenges, such as the acceleration of the first industrial revolution, energy crisis, the Russian invasion of Ukraine, and the fierce armed conflict between Israel and Hamas. To highlight 
AI and digital technology lie at the heart of transformative changes like these. AI-driven technological advancements hold the potential to expedite business process automation and provide cutting-edge services through big data analysis. However, they also raise concerns regarding job displacement, the proliferation of fake news, ethical dilemmas, and other potential negative impacts. In April this year, President Yoon Suk-yeol of the Republic of Korea at Harvard Kennedy School emphasized that free citizens must stand in solidarity to create the conditions necessary to enjoy freedom for those who need it. President Yoon also underscored that now we must create new norms and order that correspond to the ever-deepening era of digital technology and pointed out that the free citizens of the world must work in solidarity to stave off the abuses of a digital technology that undermines freedom. As individuals living in the digital age, we are aware that AI-driven technological advancements hold the promise of greater freedom, yet also raise concerns about the potential dangers they pose to our society. However, if we solely rely on existing knowledge and technology, our capacity to adapt to these new environmental changes will be limited. Therefore, it is our responsibility to explore ways in which humanity can effectively harness the technologies and services that arise from digital AI innovation. It is in this context that the NHI is hosting this year's conference under the theme of a new paradigm for public HRD in AI innovation so that all of us together here at the NHI can explore new roles and causes of public HR taking into account to or AI trigger the changes that will take place in the public sector. In the book, The Journey of Humanity, Dr. Oded Galor, professor of economics at Brown University and the founder of the unified growth theory, pointed out that gender equality, diversity, respect for differences, future orientation, measures to strengthen education, and innovative competency will be the ways to universal prosperity. I must say that I fully agree with this idea. As many of you may already know, South Korea immediately after it gained independence from Japanese rule, and even in spite of the atrocities of the Korean War, fully committed itself to developing the country's human resources through education. I believe that these developed human resources served as a foundation to enhance innovative capabilities, ultimately driving the nation's development and growth. Sorry, it's so long speech. Uh, it'll be soon come to an end <laughs> in a few hours. <laughs> Notably, the public sector must navigate future-oriented directions and strategies for the HR of tomorrow, explore and share innovative teaching ideas and methodologies using HI, and prepare for a new workplace atmosphere in a time of post-COVID AI-triggered revolution. In particular, preparing public servants that can 
keep up with our time, actively responding to the changing atmosphere of a new era, building the capacity of public servants and nurturing leaders that can proactively bring about changes in the public sector has always been and will continue to be the calling of public HR. Digital technology using AI is already deeply intertwined with public HR innovation. In a case in point, some of the speakers for this conference were actually recommended by OpenAI's ChatGPT, which is clearly shows how generative AI has already become commonly available to us. I'm confident that today's conference through sharing of stories and opinions from around the world will be insightful, stimulating, meaningful, and fruitful for all participants. Moreover, this conference is global in nature, thanks to the presence of participants coming from all over the world. In that regard, I hope today's event becomes an opportunity for both your personal groups as well as your country's advancement. I believe that your interest and commitment to this conference will make this event even more valuable. Together, we can forge ahead for a more promising future by sharing each other's experience and knowledge. I encourage your active participation and discussions today. In closing, once again, I would like to wholeheartedly express my appreciation for your participation and wish you a healthy and happy future going forward. 감사합니다. Thank you. Yes, thank you very much for the warm welcome and your dedication and support for making this event possible in this beautiful autumn weather of Korea. Thank you once again. Please give another big round of applause.